because I want to have I want to I want to compare I'm comparing this wine to another one that I really like because I, I want to find my favorite wine. I mean, I did find my favorite wine. I did, and the one bottle I bought was on sale for two fifty. This was just like two years ago, so not that long ago. That was like in COVID when all the prices were high, or two years after COVID. I don't know, and it was this elderberry wine. It was in a Pacific bottle. I do have one of the bottles I could show off in a second. But it was elderberry wine, and it was just a little bottle, like, about as tall as this. Yay big, right? It's a little bottle of wine. And, boy, that stuff was, like, the best wine I have ever tasted in my entire life. And that was the only bottle of it that was in the store at that time. And that was the final bottle I've ever seen. I think they discontinued that exact kind. They still have blackberry and all the other flavors, but all those ones just are... I don't know. The elderberry one just, like, it hid the alcohol flavor. It hid all the other stuff in it. It was just beautiful. Now, this is the next runner-up, potentially. I mean, I have, I have a bunch of different selections, though, but... This one sat in my room for a little bit, so maybe it has changed in flavor. Oh, I did not do this the right way. I just went straight for the pour, but I just chugged a, a, a shot of it that you saw. Or whatever you want to call that. It smells nice. Mm, it tastes nice, too. Now, this wine isn't bad, either. This is actually a really good one. Now, they didn't have the one I wanted to try to get of this flavor. They only had two white versions of it, and I wanted a red-flavored one. This is the only red one they had, was the smooth and sweet with, like, the uh, glitter band around it. This is a good one. This really is a good one. I'm not certain which one I like better, though, between the two. The smell of this one is... Wait, you know what? Let's compare. Now, the smell of this one right here is so pungent and fruity. The other one is bitter. What's the difference in these? This one's a Merlot, though, so it's a bit different. This one, oh, let me make sure the lid's on that. I almost just poured that on my laptop. That would have been the end of Subcola Films right there, because if this laptop gets hurt, then I, <laughs> I ain't going back to making my PlayStation. I'll just play on PlayStation. Um, The other one's just... I don't know what it's called, but I think it's just another one, but... What's the percentage in alcohol per one? Is there is there not alcohol in this one? Oh, alcohol. 6% alcohol here. I do have a wine that's like 32% gold, but that one's a little different. Uh, how much alcohol is in this? It does not tell me. Oh, it's tiny. It's in the glitter. 10% alcohol, 6% alcohol. That is a little bit of a difference, though. This one's more of a beer. This one's more of like a, a wine for like levels of alcohol so that that kind of makes a difference too no wonder this one kind of has a bit more sweetness to it but this one's like more of a sody so it pops. might as well check one more real quick now this is 17 percent it is considered a wine but it is a cream it's a cream wine with how they make it it's made by a moonshine brand I'll try a little bit of that a little later. The thing is, one glass of wine a day with dinner. I'm not trying to encourage drinking, but I heard one glass of wine a day for dinner is actually good for your heart and stuff like that. Now, I do not drink that much. I like to drink once a year. Just once a year, I'll just find something good, drink a whole bottle, usually... This is my once a year. Just drink this whole thing of diabetes. And then 
I do have more than just this bottle. I'll have this bottle, and then like I'll have something that's like a hundred proof on the side that I every two shots of this I take. I took one shot of that. And then, no. But let's get in some Black Ops Two here. Sorry for the little wine thing here at the beginning. I just I got one, and I was just like, you know, I was like, I was filling it. Let's try Shipwreck 2025. Destroy the CDC freighter and scrap its cargo for hypersonic cruise missiles. And we'll do regular. I only did a row that I couldn't care less. this one and the other 45 over there i have five with me right here and the other 40 there i think some of them are going bad i need to drink them but i'm not going to if they go bad they go bad Ten seconds out. Approaching insertion point. Kick to deploy. that is so loud go. goodness loud loud Move to protect. That's a kill. This is an actual level. We need to capture these sites. Let's capture A first. Do I shoot this thing? No, I do not. The intruder. Confirmed hacking of laser systems underway. We have a oh, that's out. interesting. We gotta defend this. Okay, more coming in from the side. I wish I could have selected my guns. I know what guns are good for this area. Any of them dropping it? No. Why did my gun change right there? Where are my teammates at? Do I not have teammates? I came in here with like six guys. They got annihilated that fast or that bad. Ooh, is that the QB? Oh, this is assault rifle, right? Or is this the LMG? Um, I think this is the LMG, but the assault rifle of this one was my favorite. One of my favorite Further assault rifles. In this game, to support. Okay, I'm just gonna engage the next one. My teammates don't seem like they're gonna be that helpful. This is a capture site. Why do I hear something big? Oh, I see it. It's one of those leg guys. That's all I had for ammo right there. Where did you come from? I was watching the map the whole time and you just came out of nowhere. And there's two drones on me. These dumb missions. Like this. this is a dumb mission, honestly. Doesn't matter if I die. I just respawn. This is like a. This is more of like something they should have did for multiplayer. I could just be the little drone. Flashbang, that's not fun. It is a fun mission. This is the gun I was looking for, though. I would have brought in, actually. And it's actually really solid. Another one of those little drones. Better to stay back. Can this thing just die? Up of new 
fire team. We got a wounded man. Second laser sight is ours. Aircraft established at initiation point, ready for drop. I can complete. Easy on the approach. Target VID. Oh, look at that city over there. Oh, and the ship coming in. Okay, what are we supposed to be doing? You know what? Let's have some fun. <laughs> the little missiles. I like those little missiles. Look, these things in the right hand absolutely destroy. What's the point of them not doing this on their own? Why do I have to control it for it to be this effective? What's this dumb burst that it's doing? I'm launching an airstrike on the ship. I wish I would have stood there on the beach to look at it. Did I miss? No, I didn't. Successfully neutralized SCD Raider. That was too quick. That was too quick for a quest, but you know, I'll take it. Hmm. You know, the scene where it shows Menendez walk up to Woods when he's in the hospital just goes to show that you can have an enemy for a very long time. Say you're the same age, but some, one person ends up being healthier than the other. There's some that get decrepit and they're in a wheelchair and they're like a little bit crazy, and then they're the ones that are super hyper healthy and they're like still going to take over the world. And that's what I thought was really creepy about that scene. I did that quest, what's next? How do I get the next quest? Do I actually have to do this facility here? Do I have to hit resume story? Well, that was a fun little side quest for fun. That's a filler video, right? I'm, and I had the wine thing, so it was fun, right? I should have hit resume story, that's my bad. Uh, we'll do that. We'll continue that in a bit. I need to figure out if I'm going to take a break or not. I mean, I only recorded two, so I, I should do one more. It's only like 10, 20 minutes a piece, so I'll do one more. 